My father came from Japan in 1905. He was 15 when he immigrated from Japan. He, he, he worked until he was able to buy this, to actually build a store. Let me tell you a story in the form of a dream. I don't know why I have to tell it, but I know what it means. Close your eyes, just picture the scene as I paint it for you. It was World War II when this man named Kenji woke up. Ken was not a soldier. He was just a man with a family who owned the store in LA. That day, he crawled out of bed like he always did. Bacon and eggs with wife and kids. He lived on the second floor of a little store he ran. He moved to LA from Japan. Japan. They called him immigrant. In Japanese, he'd say he was called Issei. That meant first generation in the United States when everybody was afraid of the Germans, afraid of the Japs, but most of all afraid of a homeland attack. And that morning, when Ken went out on the doormat, his world went black. Cause right there, front page news, three weeks before 1942, Pearl Harbor's been bombed and the Japs are coming. Pictures of soldiers dying and running. Ken knew what it would lead to, just like he guessed. The president said the evil Japs. Japanese in a home country would be locked away They gave Ken a couple of days to get his whole life packed in two bags Just two bags, couldn't even pack his clothes Some folks didn't even have a suitcase to pack anything in So two trash bags is all he gave them And when the kids asked mom, where are we going? Nobody even knew what to say to them Ken didn't want to lie, he said the US is looking for spies So we have to live in a place called Manzanar Where a lot of Japanese people are Stop it, don't look at the 